Hi, I'm Rashmi and welcome to my show. Today we're going to do a gentle practice to balance your hormones, especially on days when you have PMS, which is also known as premenstrual stress. If you're very, very stressed out, if you just want something to relax you and to calm down. So we're going to do a gentle yoga practice to balance out your hormones. So this is not something you do on days of your period. This is things, something that you do before your period when you're very, very stressed out. Okay. So remember that physical activity will make you feel better. It will release endorphins that will make you feel happier. So it's good to start with a nice, strong warm up. It's also so that your spine is warmed up, your muscles are warmed up and you can avoid injury. So we're going to start with a little bit of jogging. So I want you to start jogging on your mat. Keep your hands loose. Keep your fingers loose. Breathe. Now while we're jogging, you're going to breathe in through your nose and you're going to breathe out through your mouth. Once again, jog, breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Slow jogs, keep breathing. Now while you're jogging, start increasing the distance between your feet and reducing the distance. Keep going, opening out and closing in. Once again, opening out and closing in. Keep going, opening out and closing in. Keep breathing, long deep breaths. Now, I want you to imagine that you have a skipping rope and keep rotating your wrist and at the same time you can do small jumps. Just getting that heart going a little bit faster. Small, small jumps. Just imagining that you have a skipping rope. Keep hopping. Breathe. And relax. Continue to jog. Okay, hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmed up by now. We're gonna do a breathing exercise that involves a little bit of throwing to so try and also let go. So I want you to stand with your legs wider than hip distance apart with your toes pointing forward. You're going to inhale, raise your hands up. Imagine that you have a ball in your hand. So you stretch and you go and you drop down. Yeah. So you want to imagine that you're really throwing this ball very hard down. Okay. So breathe in. One more time. Breathe in. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Once again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Throw it all out with your breath. Let go with your breath. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. One last time. Breathe out. Very good. Just stay down. Relax. Breathe. If you're able to touch your palms on your mat, just keep them there. Breathing again. Okay, you're going to open your toes out so that they point outward. And we're just going to start moving your knees, going from side to side. Slowly taking your knees to the right and taking your knees to the left. Once again to the right and to the left. Gently warming up your hamstrings. Continue to keep your palms on your mat so that you feel supported. Keep going to the right and to the left. Very nice. Come back to the center. Let your toes point forward and we're just going to move from side to side. Slowly taking your hands to the right and your hands to the left. Hands to the right and your hands to the left. Keep going slowly, going from side to side. Continue to breathe. Slowly come back to the center. Join your feet together. Bend your knees and slowly roll up. Very nice. We're going to continue to jog just to warm up a little bit more. 
keep breathing. If you feel like you need to let go of something, use your breath to throw it out. So you breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Again, breathe in through your nose, breathe out, let go. One last time, breathe in through your nose, breathe out, let go. Very nice and relax. Okay, I want you to stand on the back of your mat now. So stand with your feet hip distance apart. We're going to slowly roll down. Again, trying to warm up your spine. Bend your knees and roll up. Inhale, tilt your head up. Exhale, touch your chin to your chest. Slowly roll down. Keep your knees soft. And slowly roll back up. And look up. Once again, chin to your chest. Slowly roll down. Keep your knees soft. Bend your knees. And roll up. One last time. As you exhale, touch your chin to your chest. Bend your knees. Slowly walk forward on your mat. Come into a downward dog pose. We're going to stay and hold this pose. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. Keep trying to press your palms down on your mat. Press your heels down. Exhale and relax. Okay, from here, I want you to slowly slide yourself forward and lie down on your mat. So you're lying down on your abdomen. Place your palms one on top of each other. Tilt your head to the side. Stay down, relax and breathe. If you feel like bending one knee, you can bend your knee so that your spine feels a little bit more relaxed. Take a deep breath in and slowly exhale. Once again, take a long deep breath in and slowly exhale. Okay, we're going to continue to stay lying down on your abdomen. We're going to do our first asana for today. We're going to come into Viparita Shalabhasan or the superwoman pose because we all can be superwomen, right? So it's actually called the superman pose but I'm trying to get rid of that patriarchy. So you raise your hands up, lift your head up, lift your chest up, lift your legs off your mat, stay there and all my superwomen stay and keep holding. Breathe. Take a deep breath in and slowly exhale. Once again, long deep breath in and slowly exhale. Slowly come back down and relax. Breathe. Just observe how your body feels. Observe your breath. We're going to move on to doing Dhanurasan or the bow pose. So you want to grab hold of your ankles with both your hands. Slowly as you inhale, lift your head up off your mat, chest off, knees off. Thighs off, tilt your head upwards, hold it and breathe. Keep breathing for one, two, three, four, five. Slowly come back down and relax once again. Placing your palms one on top of each other. Keep your toes together, heels apart. Breathe. If you feel like bending one knee, you can bend your knee. Once again, take a deep breath in and slowly exhale.
Moving on to doing Bhujangasan or the Cobra pose. Slowly place your palms close to your chest, chin on the floor, inhale. Slowly raise your head up, chest up, tilt your head upwards, breathe. Ensure that your shoulders are relaxed. And slowly as you exhale, come back down. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, slowly, head up, chest up, shoulders relaxed, elbows bent. Exhale, slowly come back down and relax. Once again, palms on top of each other. Tilt your head to any one side. Bend your knee, relax and breathe. Okay, from here, you're going to slowly turn and lie down on your back. Just continue to lie down on your back and breathe. You want to keep your knees bent, your feet are on your mat. We're going to slowly lift up into the bridge pose or Setu Bandhasan. Slowly as you inhale, raise your hips up, raise your spine off your mat. Slowly exhale, come back down. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, slowly, hips up, spine off, breathe, hold it. Exhale, slowly, come down. One last time. Inhale, slowly, raise your hips up, spine off. Exhale, slowly come back down. Very nice. Hug your knees close to your chest. Relax your back. Breathe. We'll slowly lift up into Pavan Muktasan. As you inhale, slowly raise your head up. Try touching your nose to your knees. Stretch. Exhale, slowly come down and relax. Very nice. We're going to now lift up into Viprit Karni. So this is not shoulder stand, but it is coming up almost like the shoulder stand. So you don't feel any pressure on your uh, neck, the center of your neck. So we're going to slowly raise your legs up. If you know how to do shoulder stand or Vipriti Karni, you can follow me. If you don't know how to do it, I will first show it to you, watch me and then you can lift up. Yeah, so you lift your body off your mat, support yourself on your waist and your hips will slide slightly down. So when you do shoulder stand, you're trying to keep your body as straight as possible. But in Viprit Karni, it's an easier variation. So you just stay here, hold it and breathe. Take a deep breath in and slowly exhale. Once again, take a deep breath in. And slowly exhale. We now slowly try to straighten your body so that you lift up into the shoulder stand. Lifting your spine up, keeping your toes pointing upwards. Feeling a lock between your chin and your chest. It's getting harder for me to talk. <laughs> Stay, breathe. From here, slowly bend your knees and start rolling down. Once you come down, straighten your legs out on your mat. Close your eyes and relax. Breathe. Now 
If you found doing Viprit Karni or shoulder stand difficult, then you could just stay lying down with your legs up in the air without lifting your spine up and slowly work on building the strength to lift up. Doing an inversion is great to relax your heart, to ease the stress. Once again, take a deep breath in and slowly exhale. Okay, we're going to move on to doing Matsyasana, the fish pose, which is the counter stretch for the shoulder stand. So you get both your hands under your body, keep your feet together, lift your head up as you inhale and slowly drop your head to the back. Placing the top of your head on your mat, feeling a good stretch on the front of your neck, breathe. Lift your head up to look at your toes and come back down on your mat and relax. Release your hands and again hug your knees close to your chest. Relaxing your back and we'll come back into Pavan Muktasan. Slowly as you inhale, lift your head up. Try touching your nose to your knees. And slowly get your head down. We're going to start rolling forward and back. So just again. Adding some movement, massaging your back. We'll do it five times. And the fifth time, you can come into a sitting position. And let's come into a sitting position. Very nice. Sit on your mat, keeping your feet together, keeping your knees pointing outward. We're going to come into Baddha Konasana or the butterfly pose. Slowly start moving your knees up and down. Breathe in. And as you exhale, slowly drop down, stay down and relax. Do as much as you can, press your elbows down, breathe. Slowly as you inhale, come back up. We'll cross our legs so you can sit either in Sukhasan or Ardha Padmasan and we're just going to do gentle twists to relax your spine. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Keep going. Once you come back to the center, we're going to do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodhan Pranayam or Anulom Vilom. If you don't know how to do it, there'll be a pop-up. Please watch how to do it. If you know how to do it, we'll start. Two fingers of your right hand at the center of your forehead, thumb closing your right nostril. Exhale completely through your left and slowly inhale through your left. Two, three, four. Close left, exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right, two, three, four. Close right, exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left, two, three, four. Close left, exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right, two, three, four. Close right, exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left, two, three, four. Close left, exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट इन हेल राइट टू थ्री फोर क्लोज राइट एक्स हेल लेफ्ट टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट कंटिन्यू ऑन योर ओन फॉर अ फ्यू राउंड इन हेलिंग थ्रू योर लेफ्ट एंड देन एक्स हेलिंग थ्रू योर राइट एंड देन इन हेलिंग थ्रू योर राइट एंड एक्स हेलिंग थ्रू योर लेफ्ट Once you exhale through your left, you can slowly drop your hand and keep your eyes closed. Let's take another long deep breath in and slowly exhale. If you feel like lying down, you can lie down. If you feel like sitting up, you can continue to sit up. We're going to do a short guided meditation or relaxation. So, however you feel comfortable, I'm going to lie down so that I can relax more. You can close your eyes, relax and breathe. Listen to my voice and let go. Let's take a long deep breath in. and slowly exhale take another deep breath in and slowly exhale Relax completely on your mat. Let go of all the weight of your body. Take a long deep breath in and slowly exhale. relax more and more with every exhalation one more time take a long deep breath in exhale relax lying down in the most comfortable position now while you stay lying down visualize 
yourself putting a blanket covering your whole body this is the blanket of protection to ensure that you feel safe and secure continue to stay lying down covering yourself with this blanket of protection Take another deep breath in and slowly exhale. Feeling safe and secure under this blanket of protection. One more time. Take a long deep breath in and slowly exhale. Cover yourself with the next blanket of immunity. This blanket of immunity allows you to stay healthy and strong. Visualize yourself feeling strong and healthy with this blanket of immunity. And take another long deep breath in. Relax and visualize covering yourself with your next blanket of love. Feeling the warmth of your loved ones with this blanket of love take another long deep breath in and slowly exhale Visualizing love around you.
one more time. Take a long deep breath in. And slowly covering yourself with the next blanket of courage. To have the strength to deal with everything that is thrown at you. Visualize everything that gives you courage and makes you feel strong. Take another long deep breath in and slowly exhale. Relax completely, let go of any stresses or any tensions that you're holding on to. Feeling safe and secure. Feeling loved. Feeling healthy. And feeling strong.
just letting all these affirmations soak in. Take another long deep breath in and slowly exhale. Start turning towards your right side. Stay lying down on your right. sit up with your back straight and your eyes closed. Let's take another long deep breath in and slowly exhale. Open your eyes. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you feel rested and relaxed and you can sleep well. I will see you very, very soon.